empowerment is powerful empowerment is more than oil we have idolized things like oil and all of these things now i told you oil does not anoint oil only anoints if an anointed person anoints the oil oil can fry egg can fry yam can fry all these things it came from a tree it's olive the empowerment dimension is where most people have missed it as many as believed him even to those who received him he gave them it's not just information he gave them alone there is power to become power to become a man of god power to become a true prophet power to become a financial apostle power to become a leader it takes more than desire there is power to become do you have the power to become he gave them power to become power to become is Saul also one of the prophets he was not born a prophet what suddenly happened he encountered a prophet that gave him the power to become this politician you were born nobody was supposed to vote for you but you went to a herbalist should i contest or not the herbalist gave him an information but he said hold on don't just go like that take the power to become many people do not have the power to become they have the power to stay and be transformed but they do not have the power to become are we together we have many mothers in this ministry and they will tell you there is power to carry a child are we together for nine months you are carrying the child it's not easy but god is granting you grace but then there is the power to push until that child comes out you see that you see how delicate it is at the point of delivery they will not say you've been nine months pregnant you should be an expert by now there are midwives there are people watching sometimes there are machines trying to induce all kinds of things power then there are times that some women are carrying twins triplets quadruplets the kind of attention given there will not be the same as someone carrying one. Power to become. It's true that God has told you great things. It's true that you are in a season that you know is a defining moment in ministry, in finances, in family. My question is having encountered Jesus for your salvation, the Holy Ghost and the Word for your transformation so far, have you obtained the power to become power to become or do you just have an idea on how to become do you just have an idea on how to do ministry apostle i've read about ministry i've read about homiletics um every kind of thing you know christology pneumatology i've studied everything i've learned church administration i understand i've listened to this you have done well i commend you but do you have the power to become the feast was prepared in scripture i'm hurrying up because we're going to pray the feast was prepared in scripture and he said go and call people to come and eat one said i just married i need time with my wife another one said i just bought a cow i just built a house and he said no go and compel them he gave them an ability he said you went just with desire that's why they are not listening to you now go with desire plus this power it's called anakazo the compelling power of the spirit go to the byways he says and the highways compel them to come that my house shall be filled there was an ability upon noah and his ark that suddenly made the animals no matter if you were an animal that day you must come to that ark the animals did not just come because they didn't know where to go there was power that brought them 
that is the power that when it comes upon you it does not just draw animals alone it draws finances when it comes upon you it draws favor please understand what i'm telling you these are the systems of the kingdom it is this power upon you that turns you to no longer be a normal human being it is still flesh and blood but it is not flesh and blood again there are bodies terrestrial there are bodies celestial what is the difference the level of transformation spiritual illumination and then the investment of the holy spirit he comes to sit upon your life i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me You are listening to me and you are not saved no matter what else you have you have not attended to your greatest need your greatest need is salvation you are saved listen look at me you're a man of god here or you're listening following online let me challenge you the primary assignment of the minister of a minister of the gospel as far as building believers or as far as church growth is concerned is not only salvation but discipleship without discipleship believers cannot mature discipleship is not inculcating a denomination's perspective no discipleship is the system of mentorship you use the course content called doctrine to mentor believers a methodical approach to spiritual growth there are many ways to learn how to drive you can steal a car and quickly be you know when your parents go out you carry the car and freelance that is that is a back door way to drive there will be many side effects you can move the car but you will know the things you don't know the day you enter the road but there's someone who will go to maybe a school of driving are we together yes and be taught properly sometimes the person who even goes to the school of driving he already can drive so he will go with pride and the first lecture will humble him they will not even talk about driving the first lecture they will talk about the territory where he is first and he will feel bad for his friend who is moving around believing he's an expert driver there are many expert drivers that were not taught well they drove well for 10 years and the mistake they did not learn killed them in the 11th year this is how many believers are you can sit on your own and learn anything you want to learn oh i saw this book by gloria copland god's will is prosperity i've learned it beautiful now i know everything about prosperity they didn't tell you there are attacks that come with every realm they didn't tell you that money this money you see there is a spirit behind it if a circumcision has not happened to you it will tear you into pieces then you find one book on prayer and fasting i'm not saying these things are wrong but you just while you are studying on prosperity you just halt and just look to three or four pages on prayer and fasting then you learn something then you listen to a sermon you stumble across a sermon on youtube about maybe spiritual growth and then maybe you attend a conference somewhere and after five years you stand and say i'm mature do you know something about finance yes do you know something about character yes do you know something about spiritual growth yes and you dare to tread you step in believing you are equipped that's when you will see the gaps in your knowledge when demons look at you you are full of zeal with gaps gaps everywhere that can be used against you but when he builds you when he builds you you will be so formidable the bible says listen to me the bible says that barak was called listen to me that he was called to go and cause um what, what was that was that scripture now numbers right yes to go and cause the nation of israel and they saw a formation in the midst of them 
the ark being at the center and they did not have to go and say you are causing us you keep doing what you are doing our focus is our own formation and he cost and cost and cost and said this is not possible because the shout of a king is in the midst of them there is a way your life can be so full of the glory and the grace of God you will live as if you are not a normal human being on earth you see if you don't contend for transformation and empowerment you may never understand these dimensions and you will not appreciate them you will not even believe they exist you will just think this is just church Pentecostals talking nonsense there is no other way to excel in this kingdom what I am sharing with you is not an opinion God made it possible for all of us to have Bibles look at me you know sometimes we men of God sometimes we talk and act as though God called us in private and just gave us something that can never be available the scripture is there and that from a child thou has known the Holy Scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation that means the truth of the kingdom can be found in scripture your prosperity your increase every question you truly ask and desire an answer for there can be an answer in scripture for it why am i not making progress there is an answer why am i not excelling there is an answer why is my knowledge of god unfruitful there is an answer but the seed for an answer is a question it is only he that seeks that finds listen you can continue to allow your days to just leave itself like kicking a car putting it on gear and allow it to drive itself hoping that one day your life will drive itself into a beautiful prophetic destiny or you can make up your mind tonight to take responsibility there is a relationship between authority and responsibility and say i'm going to drive my life with intention and not feel guilty while you are laboriously studying the various facets of life and the kingdom that will make you excel because sometimes you can be studying on finances for instance and people and your sociological context can make you feel guilty there are many more serious things to study why what are you doing with issue of finance that may be where you are with the holy ghost but society can make you feel guilty and you give up on it and say let me just focus on prayer or this no no every dimension of the kingdom required for your growth is important you ignore it you will pay for it when i started out with god because of the dramatic nature of my call and the way god started out with me we didn't pay attention to other things other administration excellence finance no 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 it was the holy ghost in fact it was purpose i started out with purpose Dr. Miles Munro, purpose, thoroughly understood purpose. How that you serve your generation with the gift that God has given you. In your gift is your prosperity. In your gift is your relevance. In your gift is your fulfillment. Ah, I learned that from him. Then came this series of encounters by the Holy Ghost. I did not leave the issue of purpose. But I just stayed and it was like a well that I could never exhaust. What is this new dimension? Visions, encounters, angels, revelations of scripture. But then I remember, I was so, I was so much in it. Had God left me that way, I would be suffering today. Because I would stay there the way I was so into this thing. I'm not sure that I had interest to look at any other aspect. I didn't believe based on my encounter that there would be need to study any other aspect because it looked real. It looked like once you have him, you have everything. I was right, but I was wrong. It was the Holy Ghost himself who gave me a vision. This was 2007. I had an encounter. And then he opened me to other dimensions and said in as much as the richness of my encounter is there but there are other the systemic nature the human body if you study only the digestive system there are other systems and they all are important to make that organism function well
Yeah, I'm going to go.